Hello, good morning viewers. Today we are going to be looking at differentiation, which is a branch of uh, calculus. And in this chapter, we are going to be looking at differentiation from the first principle. Our uh, differentiation is the rate of change of one quantity over another. Uh, suppose we have a straight line graph along x and y axis. If this is our slope, this coordinate here is x2, y2. Y this coordinate here is uh, x2, y1. While the coordinate here is x1 and y1. So the slope m is nothing but the change along y axis divided by the change along the x axis. So we have change in y divided by change in x, which is defined as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Now remember, y is a function of x. Therefore, this y1 is a function of f of x1, while y2 is another function of uh, x2. But you know that x2 minus x1 is a change along x axis. Therefore, x2 is equal to when you take x1 to the right hand side, it becomes positive x1 plus the change in x. Now, by substitution, you know we have our slope m, which is equal to y2, which is a function of x2, minus y1, which is also a function of x1. Divide by x2 minus x1, and you know that x2 minus x1 is nothing but the change along x axis, so we have delta x but this x2 here is x1 plus change in x so m equals x1 plus the change in x minus f of x1 divided by the change in x and again you know that this m is nothing but change in y divided by changing x, which is our slope. Therefore, changing y divided by changing x is equal to f of x1 plus changing x minus f of x1 all divided by changing x. This is our derivative of a function from the first principle. If you look at this point, if this point should move closer and closer, with this first coordinate, the change along x axis will tend to be equal to zero. In that case, in order to obtain more and more accurate results, we need to set the limit of the x to approach zero. Therefore, dy or change in y divided by change in x as the limit of the x approaches zero is equal to f of x1 plus dx minus f of x1 divided by dx. So this is the formula we are going to be using in order to find the derivative of a function from the first principle. Suppose we have y equals x squared. You know that f of x equals to x squared because y is a function of x. Then change in y is equal to, and we are going to replace this x with x plus dx, so we have x plus dx. But in this case, x has a square, so we have to square this. Then minus f of x, and f of x is x squared. dy equals, if we expand this, we are going to get x squared 
plus 2x dx plus dx squared minus x squared. We have x squared here. We have negative x squared, so they cancel out. So dy equals to 2x dx plus dx squared. Now we need to check dy with respect to x, so we have dy all over dx equals 2x dx divided by dx plus dx squared divided by dx. This cancel this, this divided by this is just equal to dx. So dy over dx equals 2x plus dx. So as the limit of dx approaches 0, we have 2x then plus dx equal to 0. And this end of giving us 2x. So therefore, if y equals to x squared, dy over dx is equal to 2x. In general, if y equals x power n, dy over dx will be equal to n x power n minus 1. When y equals to x power n, the change on y with respect to x is equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1. In my next video, I'm going to prove y dy over dx equals to n x to the power of n minus 1. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.